Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I just recently beat Zachro and I'm on to Act 5 now. So I am hyped to check that out and also, yeah, I finally have access to Shinoa. Let's see what Shinoa's bloodline designated her as the Lunar Priestess of the Tribe, born in an era of elemental storms. She'd never seen the moon at night, even on the night of her inauguration. She rebelled and embarked on a journey and finally experienced true moonlight, which awakened the power hidden in her blood. All right. Interesting. All right, well, I know basically nothing about how this character is going to function, so... Let's see how this works. Oh, what? Why are we summoning that weird, like, crescent moon-headed guy from the old McDonald's commercials? I'm so confused. Okay, so what is this? It'll be cold damage. Okay. Alright, well, I know nothing about playing this character, so... All right, so I have to put on something. Let's go with that. Interesting. All right. Okay, at the moment, I gotta say, this character seems awkward. Honestly, I really don't know what I'm doing with this character, so I'm just hoping that's, that things start to line up here. Alright. Interesting. And what are you? So, let's go ahead and upgrade one of my attacks. Now, what are my attacks? Sweep, Rain of Spears, and Moon Bath. Got it.
God, her attacks are so awkward. Yeah, I honestly kind of think I don't like this character very much. Like, I'm... Just don't understand how her moves work. How exactly does one get Moon Brand? Alright, school mentor. I don't have a school, so... What in the world? Like, like, I'm really trying to understand what's going on with this character, and I just, I feel like I'm just wasting my own time. hit chance. Oh my goodness, I am just getting destroyed. Now is this because of the level that I'm on, or is this or is this character just really that awful? Let's find out. Let's switch to a let's switch to a different character and try again. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. Yeah, this makes way more sense. Like, I don't know what was going on with Shinoa. I just know that I don't really want to use that character again. Oh, 
would also very much like to know what's creating those blood splatters. Why are they doing so much goddamn damage? Alright, yeah, critical hit chance. Cool, we'll take it. Okay, yeah, they, that those those enemies have gotten a good deal stronger apparently. long-winded when I have barrier I'm gonna just give me the gold I don't have anything that's going to give me barrier sure we'll take that so it's been a little while since I've played this game. Hopefully you guys haven't given up on it yourselves. It is a very good game. Yes, I know that it was repost that we're going to break that guy's shields, but... Admittedly, I like this character a lot better. Like, I don't know what the deal with Shinoa is, but it's just a big old no from me. It's, she just wasn't working out for me. to pick this up. I don't know, do I want Thunder Shard? What the hell, let's pick it up and see what it does. Okay, so you're supposed to set them down and create electric arcs between them. Got it. Alright, not bad. That's particularly nice, but I think I'm gonna go with this.
the hell is going on? Why can I not move? Okay, seriously, what is going on? Why is the game not allowing me to move? Just about all of that damage was sustained because the game just would not allow me to move. So now I feel just annoyed and like I just got horn swaddled. Okay, so they don't activate very close to one another. Hey, what did you drop? Sure, I'm okay with that. Huge damage reduction? Okay. And let's get some gold just to make sure that my critical hit and charm works nicely. was not paying attention to that skeleton archer. That was my bad. Ugh. You always have to make this much noise, especially when you're sitting right next to my mic. Okay, so... I think what I just realized is that there was some and some druidic enemy there or another that was just making things difficult on me. A Bizos. Who's the Bizos? Ben, the mad blacksmith. I don't remember how to fight you. Okay, so I have to essentially kill his adds before I can attack him.
Hey, this man's got a lot of health. Fortunately, he's not that hard to fight. Yay! Passage unlocked, and I got a thing. What is this thing? Hmm. I feel like I can get more if I just take the... Oh, sure, I'll take that. And let's see if I can make my uh, let's see if I can make my ice storm any better. Let's take that. Because even though it is lowering the amount of damage that my repost does, it also makes it easier to use because there's storm ripples around that allow me to use it. Hey. Hey, you. Get back here. Oh, I didn't get the treasure chest. What are you? Three Ember Novas. I do wonder if I would like that more than the Golden Tiger. I think I'm gonna take it just because it sounds like fun. Okay, you have a giant ass hitbox that I am not okay with. Thanks, M. Bison. Ricochets off frozen enemies. School trait. There we go. Okay, what are what are those ghost things? Like, do I need to be worried about them? dare you in your bloody ass spikes get bent all right what is all this i'd rather have the damage reduction i would rather have the frigid earrings health is good art secret art ring all right, cool. I mean, you have a ring, so that works.
Eh. Still don't think I have anything that does barrier, so I say no to you. Teach me a skill, sir. Grab that. That sounds strong. The idea, the idea that I'm doing so well now, really kind of stops to make me think. What? Why was I having so much trouble with Shinoa? Well, you know, Dark Sage, it is very possible that Shinoa is just the worst character in the game. Yes, I could very well acknowledge that, but I've like barely had a chance to even use the character. It just seems unfair to say that, but at the moment, all signs are pointing to, yeah, she's really, really bad. Eh. Also, it might be time for me to think about getting a new chair, because the one I'm using is having this issue where it's, where it doesn't stay upright very easily. Like, the chair is supposed to recline, but it reclines too easily now, and it feels like it's going to drop me on my ass. Honestly, that's better than the Golden Sparrow, so I'm taking that. You know what? Yeah, let's use some of my reputation and... Or, sorry, devotion. And go ahead and teleport ourselves to this spot so we can specialize our repost a bit. Like, I'm aware that these little ghost things are hunting me down. Oh, okay, they freeze me. Sorry, Freddy. Silly bone man. Alright, what do you do? Well, I mean, I'm not going to be burning anything ever, so... Oh, wait. Hold on, that's stupid. I can do that. I can burn things. Damn it! Well, I don't know if that's really useful to have, though. Yes, more frigid, please. Owie. How dare you.
All right, not bad, not bad. Hold on, there's a thing here that's releasing like Contra style spread shots. I would I would like it to go away. There we go. We don't just have seeds there, we got big ass fruit. In a snowy environment. Insert joke about Colorado peaches and we move on. Yeah, let's do that. And we're getting pretty close to another boss. I'm guessing this is going to be the Lucy clone again. I'd like to point out that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just... You know, this seems to be the point in the game where you... Where you're reusing boss assets, so... Which brings up another fun part about RoboQuest that I've just discovered. The bosses at the end of the chapters are not static, so a lot like Binding of Isaac, you can you can run into any number of different bosses, and it just makes the runs feel so much more interesting and dynamic, since another thing I discovered is that the levels themselves don't change. But you can... Owie. Okay, let's not fight in front of that fucker. Oh, there's two of those fuckers. Oh my goodness. I was doing so well up until now, and then a combination between traps and M. Bison just really fucked me up. I'm gonna stick with what I have, but that does seem strong. Make no mistake. Get some Ice Nova going on. Alright, we fighting fake, Lucy? Alpha of the pa No, we are not fighting fake, Lucy. Oh wait, is this fake bear? Okay, these things are starting to get on my nerves. Hey, you can stop now. Come on. Hey, here we go. Actually, I like that a lot.
Okay, so Act 5 is just really, really long. So wait, am I following more than one school now? I don't think I want to follow more than one school. So I'm assuming poison, the poisonous rain is just like a um, health tax. the Hydro Prism, though. Am I? No, I've just got my Tornadoes. No, I've got my build centered around freezing things, and that seems like it's doing more than enough. Take that, make it easier to break those. Alright, we're also gonna want to find more Tempest Tomes since we are getting a lot of a lot of repose skills off. I was paying attention to that and not the dude with the big mornings. No, that's a spiked club, not a morning star. Whoops. Hey! Bad trap. Uh, Dark Sage, the trap is just doing its job. Yeah, I know. That's why it's a bad trap. What do we got now? Alright, I like that. I got a lot of storm charges, I can tell. that thing. Like, I'm trying to identify what it is. It looks like a combination between a spider and a bookshelf. Like it's probably not even close to right, but what 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 I don't know what else I could possibly be looking at. What are you?
Yep, this is right. I want to boost my repose skill since I'm getting a lot of repose, and I'll probably be getting more with even more storm ripples coming out. Now, I am curious, what is earning me storm charges? Just time. That's it, just time. Owie. Hey, it's Warmack! Nice to see you, buddy. So fights are getting easier now, especially when you know, you're can, you can actually do things with your character. <laughs> Smooth. Ooh, more damage reduction. Yes, please. I don't have a way of adding barrier, otherwise I would probably take that. Okay, admittedly this I wasn't this wasn't what I was expecting from Act 5, but this is a lot more interesting what I thought than what I thought it was going to be. Like I thought it was just going to be you know like every other level that's come before it so far and it was just going to be disappointing. Interesting, but I'm I'm good. Seems like it would be particularly good for Ulrich, but... Is this Zachro again? Oh, so it is. I'm not qualified to talk to you, huh? So there seems like there's going to be a pretty good chance that, that my boy is just gonna just gonna teleport me away at the end of the fight again. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Halfway between flying and falling once again. Even though it was Lily who did the fighting. That bastard! What do you mean? I put, I put up a difficulty condition. What are you talking about, game? Like, no, seriously, what are you talking about? I put up a condition. I am so confused. All right, well, we'll figure that out next time around. For right now, we just we just cleared and cleared a run and I am plenty happy with that. So let's get some more maximum health. What is this? All right, I like that. Nice. What is this? And I can also I can also afford to reduce trap damage a little bit more. There we go. All right, I can actually start affording some of these meta progression upgrades. Not bad at all. But that's going to do it for right now. So thank you guys very much for coming and checking out some more Storm Edge. I appreciate your continued support and you coming to spend some of your free time here with me today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and you take care, everybody. <laughs>